Sean is an American professional snowboarder who started off as a skateboarder mentored by the one and only Tony Hawk. Known as the Flying Tomato due to his red hair, Sean has become a legend in the sport. The 2022 Winter Olympics will be his last official entry into the sport before heading off into retirement. So if you haven't already, it's time to witness his journey to greatness one last time. Do you think he will achieve his fourth gold medal at 35 years old? Let us know in the comments below. Sean White is a 5-time Olympian and 3-time gold medalist which is the record holder in half-pipe snowboarding. He was the first to compete in both the Summer and Winter X Games in two different sports and has achieved 15 Winter X Games gold. Sean was born in San Diego, California to normal blue-collar parents. His father loved to surf, which is where Sean most likely first learned to balance. As a baby, he had to overcome a congenital heart defect that required two open heart operations. This slowed him down even before he was conscious to understand what was going on in life. He grew up as the youngest of four children and has Irish-Italian ancestry if you couldn't already tell by his red hair. At 9 years old, he began skateboarding at the YMCA skate park. Tony Hawk noticed his skill set early on and helped White turn pro by 16 years old. How did he get Tony to recognize him? He was too shy to talk to him directly, so instead he tried to impress him in the background by doing incredible skateboard tricks until Tony would notice him. While perfecting skateboarding, White was also snowboarding at the age of 6 with his older brother Jesse. You have to love how powerful a bigger brother can have on the younger one. White was a pretty cool 10 year old in these extreme sports and was just naturally skilled. His first sponsorship came about early because of his raw talent and of course having Tony mentoring him as well. Being the most famous snowboarder takes a toll on his mindset and physical training. Since he's now 35 years old, Sean considers himself the underdog. Not to mention, a new generation of youth are already taking over the sport and doing amazing things. But he's determined to get his fourth gold at his last Olympics. White manages his fear these days through experience. He's very calculated and doesn't just show up to do random tricks. He builds up mentally by checking out the course and making sure the weather is good to go. To feel confident, he relies on his gut instinct. Sean feels the vibe of others already riding and enjoys riding off other people's momentum. White keeps going because he is motivated by the fear of disappointing himself for not achieving his goal that he set out for himself. He's driven by seeing how far he can push things and having the career he has just keeps on motivating him to do great. Now how does he stay physically fit at his age? Sean hires Ether Lee who is Serena Williams physical therapist to help create a workout for snowboarders. He also received help from celebrity trainer Tim Hartwig who worked with many pro athletes and Olympians. The focus for Sean has been on leg and core strength for joint mobility and range of motion. He would work out 3 or 4 times weekly and mountain bike once a week to build endurance. This resume has helped him have more explosiveness and strength for all his tricks while also having more energy and sleeping much better. If you're interested in seeing what his gold medal winning workout looks like, check out the link below in the description box. Sean has had quite a number of accolades during his career. In 2006, he won gold in the half pipe which is a spectacular feat considering White barely made it out of the qualification round that year. This is where his career began to skyrocket. In 2010, his second gold was won in the half pipe and it was at this event where he unveiled the tomahawk move which is a double McTwist 1260. In 2011, he took his fourth straight gold in the Winter X Games with the tomahawk move. In 2012, White became the first person in the history of the Winter X Games to score a perfect 100 in the men's snowboard super pipe. But in 2014, White finished 4th in the Winter Olympics without any medals to show. But his social media influence started to rise as he was the most talked about athlete that year. This allowed him many new partnerships than ever before. Not bad for a 4th place finish right? And in 2018, White won his 3rd gold medal at the half pipe in the Winter Olympics. He almost didn't go to this year's Olympics because he had a bad wipeout a month before that required him to have 62 stitches. But he was determined not to quit and go anyway. If there's one thing that you can say about Sean White is that his tenacity is surely inspiring. White started making money early on through his sponsorship. While the exact figures are still a mystery, we can safely say he made more than the average 10 year old. In 2006, White landed some new premium sponsorships after winning the gold medal which helped him become a millionaire early on in life. Burton Snowboards, Oakley, Target, and Red Bull appeared to endorse him. In 2008, White won $210,000 in the US Open Snowboarding Championships. This led him to create a video game where he collected royalties from. In 2014, White became a huge influencer on social media for extreme sports. This took his net worth to even bigger heights and achievements. 
He's worked with Birdhouse Skateboards, Park City Mountain Resort, Ubisoft, ADO, Hewlett Packard, and American Express. As you can see, being in the public spotlight or becoming a public figure allows a person to make the most from endorsements and has acquired most likely somewhere between 60 to 100 million dollars throughout his career endeavors. Sean also appears in pop culture throughout several series and movie cameos. He made a few great documentaries such as The White Album, The First Descent, and Don't Look Down. He became a musician in 2014 and even played in the Lollapalooza Festival. In 2016 and beyond, White stays busy in plenty of business ventures and has a minority stake in Mammoth Resorts where he got his first start in snowboarding. He owns his own active lifestyle clothing brand White Space and just began branding in the 2022 Winter Olympics. White enjoys Halloween as his favorite holiday, loves sitting close to the TV with the volume up, and has been dating Nina Dobrev since 2019. While not a golfer, he once got a hole in one doing a happy Gilmore swing and hasn't golfed since. He once was flown out by Steffi Graf to Idaho to snowboard as a birthday surprise for her husband, Andre Agassi, and even flew to New Zealand just for a steak sandwich at Missy's Kitchen. Not bad for a multi-million dollar snowboarder, don't you think? This brings us to the end of the video. We sure hope you liked today's content. But what do you think of Sean White's story? Did you know he was mentored by Tony Hawk before today's video? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed today's video, make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. We'll see you in the next one.